Good morning. We're in Portland and it's time for some breakfast. So the one thing we figured out so far about being in a van is there is space to move around, but you kind of have to organize your, your, your stuff and your things multiple times throughout the day to make sure you're not all, all over each other. But uh, we're gonna make some quick breakfast because we slept in this morning. We just want something tasty and quick uh, so we can get on the road. Uh, we're gonna make a tropical oatmeal. I know a whole bunch of you guys probably make oatmeal on the trail or on your trips, but we're gonna make a twist with some uh, tropical fruit. Um, so we've got our, our campy cook station here all set up. We turn on the gas in the back. Really important to get the gas flowing. We've got two burners, a sink, and a faucet. So we are gonna get some water in our pot and get that boiling. And what we're gonna add today to make it a little bit different and a little bit tropical is we've got some banana chips, some dried mango, some crystallized ginger, and some crystallized uh, pineapple. You could also uh, just raid the bulk aisle, um, see what you have for some other tropical things, some macadamia nuts, some cashews would be really good on this too. Um, but just jazz it up, throw in some other things to, to make it uh, a little different than the, the standard um, apple cinnamon. So the other thing that's gonna make this a little bit tropical is coconut milk powder. So I pack this in myself, a uh, really easy little uh, canister that you can bring along. This is a special order, but you can pick it up at some Asian grocery stores or a quick Amazon order, but this is gonna be really uh, a great way to add some nice other tropical flavor. Um, if you are going in your van and you don't care about weight or overall Packability. Go ahead and grab a, a small can of coconut creamer or uh, coconut milk. So our water is up to a simmer. We're using instant oats today, but if you'd like to use a steel cut, something that takes a little bit longer, you're more than welcome. But for me, the instant does the job. And then we're gonna throw all of our nice fruits in so they can start to hydrate and also flavor the broth. And then just a couple tablespoons of coconut milk powder. And the other thing with cooking outside, whether you're at a campsite or in a small van, is just maximizing your space. and knowing that you don't have a full deck and a full cutting board situation in order to put everything. Nice, so we're coming up to our simmer. I'm just gonna turn the heat down and let that hydrate. I mean, this should be ready in a, a minute or two as we let it sit. So the thing I like about this recipe too is the fact that it's not so sweet. Uh, a lot of the, the packets out there are just so sweet, at least for me. So this has a really nice light sweetness with the fruits that we added. Um, you can always add some more brown sugar or some maple syrup or anything like that. But it's nice for me to be able to add sugar rather than just feel like it's a big sugar bomb in the morning. 